All right, I think we can go ahead and get started. I'm sure my uh, co-AD will be here in a moment. Uh, welcome to the very last TSV area meeting for all time. I wish we had t-shirts, but we don't. Perhaps Lucas could make us hats or something if you were here. <laughs> um, welcome. Uh, this is the ITF note well. You've no doubt seen this many times. If you have not, please take a look at it and understand what you were agreeing to by sitting in this room or tuning into this on Meet Echo. Um, Okay, this is how to work all the meeting tools. Uh, I think, again, by now you're probably familiar with all this. Please do uh, scan the QR code to sign the blue sheets. We don't actually probably need to know how many people were here for room request reasons because we'll never again be a TSV area. However, um, this does provide a useful alibi for any crimes that will be committed in the next hour. Okay, more how-tos, more if you're having technical problems, where to go. And of course, you can see the agenda for the IATF 118 meeting and all this good stuff going on in the transport area. Here's um, today's agenda. Um, okay, the session is being recorded, as you probably know. Uh, we'd already talked about the blue sheets. Uh, Jonathan Morton, who is remote, has graciously agreed to be one of the scribes. Um, this is the part of the meeting where I go quiet and tap my foot until someone agrees to be a secondary scribe to help out and be here on the premises. Do I have a volunteer? Thank you. Uh, what's your name, sir? Uh, I didn't hear that, but that's okay. <laughs> All right, well, thank you, sir. Um, and we will uh, proceed that way. And if, of course, if there are any issues or confusion, you have uh, unlimited uh, authorization to jump the queue and, and ask for scribe clarification. Okay, with that done, this is the agenda. We're gonna do our normal area status slides, which should not take very long. And then uh, I've, most of you are probably aware that um, this is the last TSV area meeting because we are, um, being subsumed into the new WIT area. Uh, one of the, so the, my term is up in March. And so the two WIT ADs will be Zahed, who you presumably know, and Francesca Palombini, who is currently an art AD and is coming along with a lot of the HTP based working groups. Uh, and so I've asked uh, Francesca to come give us a very brief uh, elevator pitch about the, the working groups that are coming into the area with us. So those of you who might not be familiar with it, get a sense of what's going on and what's cool and what's interesting. Um, and then we will have the normal open mic. Now this adds up to 40 minutes, so we have some, we have some flexibility here. But uh, you know, certainly you can bring up any issues for the transport ADs, the future WIT ADs, or really anything else going on in the area. Uh, feel free to raise whatever issues you would like within reason. <clears throat> okay, here is the update on our current working groups. Um, I announced on the list, on the Alto list, uh, a month or two ago that I'm closing Alto. Um, there are currently two, the last two deliverables are in the, um, are in ISG review right now. And once those issues are resolved, we can pass the RFC editor queue. I will press the button and close that working group. Um, there's been a lot of good work done there over the years. And I'd like to thank especially Mohamed Bukader and, and Shin Wu for chairing and bringing that working group to a successful conclusion. Modulo, uh, the, the review work <laughs> still to come. Um, let's see, uh, IPPM as part, of the, uh, as part of the transition is going to move to ops, uh, some like slightly before IETF 119. Uh, I will remain the responsible AD uh, until the handover, uh, unless, I, unless there's some sort of side deal work between me and the current ops AD or the future ops AD. But uh, the current plan is to do it during, have the uh, responsible ID tra tra uh, transition during the meeting. Um, okay, MASK is going to have a small recharter. They recently adopted, well, I shouldn't say adopted, but announced an intent. They have consensus to attempt to adopt a connect ethernet draft. So we are doing a small edit to the charter to run that by the broader community and assuming no strenuous objections were added to the charter, then they can formally adopt the work and proceed. Um, I would also like to thank Chris Wood for his work um, chairing MASK from the beginning. He is stepping down at the conclusion of this meeting. And Dennis Jackson, 
uh, has graciously agreed to begin sharing. So, and, and Chris is going to miss Friday's session. So Dennis and of course, Eric will be up there on Friday morning. Let's go. Uh, please welcome Dennis to uh, the community when he, uh, when you see him. Um, and then uh, we've had a, I forgot to write it down on the slide, but there are also two other minor recharters happening for TSPM and TSVWG. Uh, TSPM is the charter is being revised to uh, to reflect the fact that CCWG exists, and so TSPM is not sort of the default uh, venue for congestion control work anymore. Although, in under certain circumstances, it might take that work on, uh, and and uh, that will be going to the ISG uh, this month. TSVWG um, is not the transport area working group anymore because there is no transport area. We're keeping the acronym to save everyone a whole lot of trouble. It is now the transport and services working group. Its technical scope will remain exactly the same. Uh, it is not like a wit area wide thing. It is just the sort of transport layer topics only uh, that don't fit in some other working group. Um, and that charting process will also conclude in uh, or excuse me, that, that ISG review process will begin this month and conclude probably sometime in December. Any comments or questions about these updates? Okay. Um, okay, Tra we published a whole bunch of RFCs since the last meeting. Um, you can see them listed there from a variety of working groups. Cubic is now standard, uh, 18 years after it went into the legs kernels, the default. So yay for catching up the paperwork. Um, not one thing entered the RFC editor queue, although there's probably about 10 to 12 documents that are um, sitting within AD or somewhere in the process of entering the RFC editor queue. So I would expect a big surge before the end of the year of those sorts of documents. Um, so good work, congratulations to all our new ITF uh, RFC authors. And finally, as always, we are, uh, this is the pitch for the TSV area review team, which um, we will try to keep probably the same acronym, but we might um, mess with the name since again, there's no TSV area. But this is, this is functionally uh, unchanged until further notice, unless something dramatic changes. There will continue to be a team that retains competency with transport topics that will review documents in ITF last call or potentially early when requested um, with a lens of those transport issues. Uh, so this is continuing to, to happen. Uh, thank you, Vidi, for joining the, um, the review team about a month ago. And what that little number in parentheses is um, how many documents uh, reviewers reviewed since IETF 117. So I would encourage those of you interested in these, trans knowledgeable about these transport topics and interested in kind of the broader work on the IETF, maybe interested in being an AD one day or even a chair one day, to consider uh, joining the TSV art team. Um, it's, a, it's not an enormous amount of work. As you can see, it's about one draft per quarter, if that, less than a draft per quarter. Um, and you get a dinner out of it typically at, at ITF meetings. So that's cool. So um, not going away, please continue joining. And you can see Magnus, who most of you many know, or you can contact the ADs. Uh, you know how to get a hold of us if you um, uh, are interested. Clearly, Mag uh, Zahed's meeting ran over, but that's OK. I don't think he would object to anything I've said, but I guess we'll never know. And that is the last slide of that. So I'd like to invite Francesca up now to talk a little bit about some of our new sister working groups in WIT. Just, eh, did that work? No, that didn't work. Oh, I see what happened. Okay, one second. I do have to select it. Okay, let's see. That's the one we want. All right. Oh, okay. Now what happens? Maybe I need to unshare? Oh, there it is. Nope. Okay, I'm just going to do this. <laughs> there you go, Diane. Yeah, I'll run it. That's fine. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Francesca Palombini. I think most of you have met me already, but hello. Uh, I'm currently one of the two art AD, and um, I will soon become one of the WIT ADs. So what does WIT stand for? Web and Internet Transport. Next slide. 
So in case you missed it, what's happening? Um, part of transport and part of art will soon merge into a new area called web and internet transport. So um, right now, art is very, very big. We have a bunch of topic, topics. Some are security related, some are uh, more web related, and then other <laughs> stuff like mail and code codecs and all of that stuff. And also in transport, you have uh, some working group that are a bit more cross area, like more ops and int related. And so the ISG has proposed and has brought to the community and gotten feedback and then decided to do this sort of restructuring. Um, so some of the art working groups uh, that are security, security related will go back to art and then uh, some of the, the art working group will stay in art, so art will still exist and then um, uh, transport and art will merge into wit, or uh, some of the art will merge into wit, and then you will uh, also lose some working groups to ops and int. And the timeline is by ITF 119, and there will probably be some transition period. So this is uh, the exact list of working groups uh, that will be part of wit. Uh, so it's uh, in green or italic, the art ones, and then red or uh, bold in, um, uh, from transport. So from uh, art, we have AVT Core, CDNI Core, HTTP API, HTTP BIS, Mock, RTC Web, WebTrans, and Wish. Um, and then we have uh, those working groups that leave the area are Alton and IPPM that go to Ops, DTN goes to Int, Skim, Tegres, and Utah goes to SEC. Um, and yeah, the announcement is in the slides if you wanna go and look at it. So just, I will go through um, in this list, the working groups there are from Art that will go to WIT. So um, I also wanted to say that this is gonna be like a very brief overview of each working group. I'm not gonna go into detail. It's just to give you some sort of hint of what's happening. And I was asked to like uh, bring some uh, interesting topics or examples of the work that is uh, going on in each working group. So we start with AVT Core. This is not one of my working groups. Why is one of Murray's that we're taking over. Um, uh, so, uh, AVT usually, uh, sorry, AVT originally was a working group that defined the RTP, Real Time Transport Protocol, that was published in 1996 and is real time transmission of audio and video over unicast and multi multicast UDP IP. So um, it's designed, RTP is designed to carry a multi multitude of multimedia formats um, and also permits the development on new formats without revising the RTP standards. And that's basically what AVT core. Uh, now does, so it's uh, RTP maintenance. And examples of current work is uh, definition of RTP payload format for uh, skip codec, uh, uh, S-frame, uh, visual volumetric video-based coding, etc. And it also has um, an item at the moment that is working group uh, document of RTP over quick. So it's sort of... Next, we have CDNI, Content Delivery Networks Interconnection. Um, you have their uh, figure of the framework. Um, so the goal is to inter interconnect independent CDNIs and deliver content from uh, CSPs through these multiple CDNs to end users. Um, this is a collaboration with the Streaming Video Te Technology Alliance, SVTA, and it will probably uh, go through Recharter soon to take on more work. But yeah, what it does is basically that box in the middle there between CDNs um, where they define interfaces between different CDNI, CDNs. So that's CI, yeah, it's a control interface, logging interface, metadata interface, et cetera. And yeah. Then we have core. Core is, uh, stands for constrained restful environments. So uh, Core provides a framework for resource-oriented applications intended to run on constrained IP networks. The first thing Core did was to define the co-op uh, protocol, constrained application protocol, which is RFC 7252, um, which is designed for machine-to-machine -machine applications. Um, and it has a, a REST, so request response interaction model, 
uh, includes key, key concepts of the web, such as URI and uh, media types. And uh, it also has multicast support, very low overhead and, and simplicity. Yeah, so it's aimed at constrained environments. And today Core is continuing uh, co-op maintenance and extension. So it does things like group communication, pub sub over co-op, ENS over co-op, co-op performance measurement, which was uh, one of the topics that was cross area with IPPM and security for co-op. So we have a lot of work in that working group. Another working group, HTTP API, which is building blocks for HTTP APIs, um, which does basically extensions, uh, body format, uh, or new message body formats, and BCPs that relate to HTTP APIs. And I just took um, uh, two uh, examples of, of the work right now. There is uh, more than this in the working group. So for example, we have a um, proposal for an API catalog uh, which would define a well-known URI to help discovery of APIs. And another proposal is this link hints, so, uh, which is a mechanism for annotating web links to HTTP resources with information that otherwise might be discovered by interacting with them. So which methods are supported by a resource, we, what authentication is needed, etc. cetera. You can, uh, want, might want to get hints about this sort of stuff before uh, having to interact with the resource. The next one is a big one. I think I don't need to talk too much about this because it's HTTP um, or HTTP BIS working group, uh, which uh, does HTTP stuff. <laughs> so maintains the, uh, the core specification for HTTP and also generic extensions to it. Uh, they maintain developed extensions for HTTP 3 as necessary as well. And there is an extension uh, listing for a list of current work if you want to go and, and take a, a more detailed look. Uh, and there is people in the room as well that can answer more questions. Same for mock. So media over quick. Uh, I'm sure you're all aware it was a fairly new working group that had the both, uh, at AF, uh, the first both at IETF 113. So the goal was to develop a simple low latency media delivery solution for ingest and distribution of media. And the use cases include live streaming, gaming, media conferencing, and so the goal is that media will be mapped onto underlying quick mechanisms and can be used over quick or web transport. So this is the link with transport. And yeah, I, at the moment I have two items they're working on, which is media over quick transport and the use cases and requirements. Uh, another working group, uh, RTC web, uh, real-time communication in web browser. Um, this is um, first defined the web RTC. So the, when this working group was created initially, it, it defined this web RTC protocol suite, uh, which is aimed at real-time multimedia exchange between browsers and between browsers and other entities. And there is a link to the overview uh, document for web RTC. Um, but they realized that one of the documents that was published uh, by this original working group included a contradiction that they need to be fixed. So this working group has risked to fix that uh, bug and they have the document in auth 48 and the working group will conclude once that's done and that's possible it will be done before next ITF. But I included it here for your information. Then we have a web trans, web transport working group. We have the chair right in the front row if you have more questions. But uh, basically uh, we have the, web, uh, the W3C uh, web incubation community group, which is developing web transport API. And uh, the ITF working group works on the protocol development to send data and to receive data from servers that is related to this web transport API. So they are working on the protocol framework uh, requirement and then web transport over HTTP 3 and HTTP 2. And finally, last working group, WebRTC ingest sing signaling over HTTPS or WISH, uh, which is also uh, starting a rechartering. And uh, the goal is to define a specification for uh, HTTPS-based signaling protocol to establish one-way WebRTC um, based audiovisual sessions. Um, and yeah, that there one document, which is WIP, 
um, has been developed and has currently passed ITF last call. So we're very close to finishing their work. I will take on new work. And I think that was it. Thank you, Francesca. It's so hard to get these sort of snapshots of what's going on in the ITF. And, you know, so I think I'm, I'm certainly not the only one in this community has benefited from that. Does anyone have any questions or comments for Francesca? Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, so I had, is there anything um, that was not in the slides that you desperately wanted to share with the community since you were held up? I'm desperate, yeah. I was desperate to come over, come here and attend the meeting at the right time, but I was held up for a good reason. I needed to explain something that I'll tell you in person if you ask me. <laughs> it, was, it was really interesting discussion I had. But anyway, um, I think, I think uh, the message is pretty, uh, pretty clear in our email conversation that we're gonna merge some part of art with, uh, uh, with the TSB and create these things. And we are also discussing something like how to do the TSB area um, and uh, mailing lists. Uh, some of them are like really tools cushion, try to figure it out how to move over from one mailing list to another, but and others, others are like, um, this area, uh, TSB area, what we do with those things are more of like uh, what we should do as a with a area. So um, we're discussing on it and in due time, I think we'll be uh, discussing with more of all our um, participants. Um, so any kind of feedback that you have that could, you think would, could help us uh, um, while we are merging the area, uh, working groups into the WIT area would be Will be very me and Francisca and I mean Martin will be very, um, very. We'll appreciate that if you come come to us and share your thoughts. Okay, and that's a nice segue into open mic. Uh, it is time for you to uh, share whatever you would like with the community, uh, ask questions or uh, insult or compliment your ads. And um, Francesca's here if if you have a question pertinent to her. Gory Ferris, what a resplendent set of ADs. How wonderful. Um, <clears throat> okay, um, after the compliment. Um, so, um, how are we going to handle things in WIT as, as we get um, groups closing and we have maintenance items and things? Because I see TSV, WG is doing lots of strange stuff interfacing with it on Diff server, but also kind of picking up some of this kind of older stuff which reappears and needs to be revamped and done. Is there a similar sort of function in WIT you imagine of a, a group, or is it will be will it be this group that kind of picks up the web part of that puzzle? Or do you not know yet? N not knowing is okay as well. Um, while Francesca's going to the mic, uh, since yeah, she knows better than me, like I mean, I think HTTP BIS is probably the catch all for web topics, I would imagine. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but but I'll stand to be corrected probably. So um, yes, if we have proposals that we know where they're, they're supposed to land, we're probably gonna start by, by bringing them to the respective working groups, like HTTP, this is an example. Uh, in art, we have one mechanism called dispatch, yep. and it's a working group where we uh, bring topics that it's not really clear, clear where they should land, and um, we are discussing within the ISG on um, um, what to do with this patch, but so far this patch is staying in art, so we don't have a similar mechanism, or we don't. We're not foreseeing right now to have a specific one for wit, but it also depends, like uh, what will come and like if we will need something like that. And I think it's a bit fluid yeah. at the moment. But yeah, yeah, that wasn't quite my question, but that is an interesting question. So it's good to have an answer there. But no, my question was what happens to old stuff when you close working groups that still has to be maintained because we have a lot of those in transport maybe you don't have them in the website maybe everything's new and you just get new shiny stuff i mean the working groups are they are closing down they're done with their chartered yeah. items and yeah. if there needs to be maintenance and, and more work done then uh, they will reopen and they will change their charter and they will you know uh, continue to work that way so Fine. I'm, so, I'm so, not going to press on this. Gori, if you're um, specifically ask, asking like the like transport related stuff, so let, let me just maybe yeah. re-explain it. This, the wheat area actually have two 
sub kind of yeah, things, right? Yeah, that's what I kind of saw. I so, saw one yeah. side of this being on TSV, WG, yeah. perhaps catching the fallout from yeah, the transport I think, side. And I wondered what happened on the other side. So I knew where to push stuff over in the other direction. Exactly. But I give it to the AD and, sh and she sorts it out. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I think for TSB, we, the TSB W still remains on that that kind of note, that part. But the, for the web, I, I think... My my assumption would be like yeah, well, HTTP is part of like go to thing. But if like Francisca says, like if there is any specific way of pushing forward, we'll net know what the working groups are. We'll just talk with them. So so we're in the same area with the sub 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 categories, and uh, it doesn't need to be you know, very more complicated than that. Happy with the answer. Thank you. And, and the last thing I would say is that TSVWG's t technical scope is unchanged. And in fact, when, when I actually push the button on Alto, I will be putting in the tombstone that Ops AWG is going to take ownership of those documents. And I've gotten clearance from Ops because I know you don't want that. And then because <laughs> for obvious reasons. It's not that I don't want stuff. It's just other people might want it more. <laughs> <laughs> Very diplomatically stated. Uh, Brian. Hi, uh, Brian Trammell. I have to admit, like, while all this is going on, I, I did not pay attention to any of it because I have, like, a maximum bandwidth for reorgs. Um, and, you know, day job reorgs. So, like, you know, IETF reorgs are like, cool, Martin's on it. Don't have to worry about it. Um, that said, like, something that came up in, in like, that occurred to me sort of, like, in your introduction, uh, Francisca, is why didn't we do this a long time ago? Like, there's a lot of sort of, like, overlap of the the... Um, the shape of the technical concepts, if not sort of like the, the messy history of the technology as to how we got here. And that's not a question for all the people who will explain to me why we didn't do that before. That was a rhetorical question. Okay. David, sit down. So, so you, well, you, um, so, I yeah. mean, you, you mentioned reorg bandwidth and that applies yeah. to me as well, but, but, okay. I, but actually a fundamental, uh, like actually the real answer, frankly, is that the, the driving things, the difficulty of, of, of recruiting, transport yeah. ADs yeah. Yep. and like uh, at the moment like we hatched this there were essentially no prospects and in fact some yeah. people stepped up later in the game but um uh yeah. speaking of someone who had a, yeah. speaking of someone who had a transport AD nomination that I was like you know very happy to not have to click either yes or no on uh because you closed the area first yay thank you very much like I <laughs> I, I get that the this was a a a preface to like I like the no sudden movements where like you know there are two separate areas where the TSV art is going to remain sort of unchanged and in the same scope as we go along. I think there's a lot more synergy within the wit area as its own area, and I think this was a thing that we should probably slowly revisit, especially with reviews. I think that like cross review between the bits of art art and TSV art that are sort of in this overlap space. I think there's probably a lot of of opportunity for. Um, uh, interchange there within the review teams. So that's feedback. Thank you very much. And thanks for doing this. So I didn't have to click no on TSP. So, so Brian, I just want to add to what Martin said. Like, I mean, this was like kind of need driven. We had this problem with the TSBAD also. Yep. Like there was like exploring of like different working groups in art. So there was something and we didn't end, started with this combination, but we end up with this combination because this made more sense, at least to me. Yes. So I was actually one of the driver of putting this web and transport area together, um, so that so that we have this kind of synergy. But yeah, now it's, it's there. Yes. So I, I mean, I, I hear your plea for synergy, and like I think ultimately that's going to depend on the ads in any given term. Uh, there's one like scenario where a particular set of ads involve two people whose skills really straddle the whole set. I mean, a lot of those people are in this room. And if it is one of those people, if, if it's two of those people, then they'll probably really work together hand in glove. Alternatively, like the, the, the wit AD with transport skills could be like a pure like TCP kernel guy and or, or gal. And and the 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 person with the web skills could really not know anything about transport, in which case they would almost run them as separate silos unless they have it. You know, especially they didn't get along. So and it's it, going to be an individual AD decision. In an HTTP three world, a um, HTTP person who knows nothing about transport is dangerous to the internet. And I would say that that's a nomcom problem. But that's a separate discussion. Thank you, David. David Skenazi, witty enthusiast. Uh, <laughs> actually, it's yeah, difficult to introduce myself here. Yes, I'm enthusiastic about Mask, about Quick. Maybe I'm a 
potential future WIT AD candidate. Who knows? The, the day is young. Crap, I forgot what I got up here to say. Um, <laughs> you actually said that you're going to be next week, Eddie, in nominee, so... Yeah, yeah well, no, no, there's the word candidate, the nomcom, anyway, and I might also run away screaming. Who knows? Um, but to, I, I wanted to help answer Gory's question, because um, a lot of the working groups that we have, um, take Mask, for example, we started it, a lot of the work there was figuring out what problem we wanted to solve. Uh, and so as an example, we spent more than a year on an IP proxying requirements document that we didn't publish, and I'm bitter about that, but that's separate. But it was really important to do that effort. And then we developed some extensions to HTTP, objectively that's what they are. We're developing a few more, and then we're gonna close mask, and all of that word is gonna land in HTTP because it's conceptually a set of HTTP extensions. It didn't happen in the HTTP working group because figuring out which ones we wanted to build took a lot of time, and it, we didn't want to do it there. Web transport is kind of in the same boat. And if you look at the charters of all these groups, they don't explicitly say, by the end of it, we will dump all the work over there. Ha ha. But they do, if you look at the statements, the last sentence is often, we will coordinate with this group. That's the person who's going to end up holding the bag at the end of the day. Thank you, David. But, um, I, I would associate myself with those agreements. I would also, uh, there was, the, to, to go, to reverse, to, to rewind a little bit, someone asked something about, about directorates. Um, everything is subject to change at all. I mean, like, directorate stuff is always subject to change, but like as it stands today, HTTP DIR will continue to exist. It will be supervised by WIT. Um, art, art is still an art doing art, art stuff. Um, there's still some discussion about like who moves over and all that stuff. I mean, obviously people move around, but um, that is where the current state of play is. Can we have a witty directorate that just provides witty reviews? No, no. Spencer. Thank you. Um, I, I was going to respond to something that David said, and I got, uh, now I'm responding to two things David said. Number one is that forgetting what you got up to the mic to say is actually a core skill for transport area directorates historically, or uh, directors so, historically. So uh, uh, you, you, just pa you just passed the test on that. Um, but... Uh, I want to, I want to re redirect back to, uh, and I'm, I'm also in for the witty reviews, uh, but uh, I wanted to thank the ISG for uh, making a change that was not an easy change to make. Uh, I didn't comment on, I told Martin at the quick, oh, sorry, the uh, mock interim, I didn't, I didn't comment on the proposals for wit. Uh, because reasons, but uh, I I think of I think I think historically ISGs have been uh, maybe a little more reluctant to change things uh, in a way you know make difficult choices than too eager to make difficult choices. Uh, I think that I think that uh, you all are doing the right thing here, and I hope that uh, the ISG and in general and the WIT uh, area specifically continue to use the, the, you know, the flexibility that this is showing. Uh, one thing I would say is, it's, you know, it's a whole lot easier to move work from one working group to another in the same area. You know, just, just dumb stuff like that. Uh, and we've had we've had in transport we've had working groups that have been back and forth between uh, transport and whatever we were calling the application space, uh, you know, f multiple times some of them. So I, you, you know, I think you all are doing the right thing, and I would encourage uh, the WIT community and whoever ends up as WIT ADs going forward uh, to continue to use that flexibility. Thank you. Thanks, Spencer. Um, I will also point out that, that a, a wrinkle in the system is that uh, Zahed's and Francesca's terms are expiring at the same time next year. And so um, I am not really in charge of instructions to NomCom for next cycle, but like the sensible thing to do would be to say that one of those uh, positions would be a one-year position and one would be a two-year position to increase the staggering. So there's some interesting opportunities. I know some of you would be a little more excited about a one-year commitment than a two-year commitment. 
And um, that's something to consider uh, and start prepping the ground for if you'd be interested. Uh, the queue is empty. Does anyone, would anyone else like to approach the open mic? Or do we all get time back? Oh, Magnus. Uh, Real-time media transport. I have to be, um, I'm a little disappointed leaving it out of the area's declaration because you actually sucked up quite a lot of real-time media transport with ABT Core, WebRTC, and, and Mock. And it's, it's not, it, it gets, just floats around inside the area in, in, in a not super clear way, but yeah, I guess it's, it is what it is. I'm sorry, is there a specific working group that you want in with that is not, or no, vice no, no. versa? No, no, I'm just saying that the area acronym is, is you forgot the whole area of transport, which is the real-time media transport. Yeah, I mean, the thing, I think the thinking was like, I think, I, I was thinking about that one, definitely, Magnus, you know. Uh, so I think I settled with internet transport because the, the abbreviation says web and internet transport. So okay. that's like all internet traffic class kind of thing, like real-time, <laughs> non-real-time, best report. Yeah. For the, so we, we got settled with that one. Yeah. No, but I, I think this is good. I, I do like it, and, and I wished it's something we'd done earlier, actually. It, was, it, it would have suited my profile even more before, so... That was we, we, we can always have another bike shed to rename it to Wart, if, if that would make you happy, Magnus. But we, we, this is good. Like, but you wanted to solve this uh, transport candidate, um, like any candidate issue, and we have like only two sitting on the front row, yep. David and Magnus, saying like they fit into the purpose. So that's good. So we're doing good. So any, any more, Spencer? Spencer, are you still in the queue or are you back? Uh, I, I'm back and. Uh... I, you know, I, I'm, I'm there for, uh, again, I'm there for Magnus and the uh, renaming everything to Wart, but um, somewhat more seriously, um, I was only able to attend about the first 20 minutes of CCWG, which is doing good work uh, earlier this week, but, uh, it, it, you know, it's become kind of obvious to me as one of the editors for RTP over quick that the ITF as a whole and uh, including the transport area is way further ahead on uh, bandwidth maximizing congestion control uh, or congestion control for uh, applications that seek to maximize bandwidth usage than uh, than we are on real on real time and uh, that's definitely, uh, like I say, I'm definitely echoing what Magnus was, Magnus was saying about that's a really big deal, and uh, we're we're we we are ending up in the RTP sorry the uh, RTP over quick spec, basically saying uh, media is different, and we describe a few ways that media is different. So do the right thing. And uh, that that I think that's actually the best we can do right now. Uh, but it would be great if uh, people thought about this more. And again, I don't want to derail the important work that CCWG is doing. Uh, Thanks, Spencer. That's noted. I think we discussed some some of that part during the chartering of that working group, but now actually it's more focusing on 50, uh, 33 bs. So let's finish that, and then uh, I think we're already having some discussion about the real time condition control and all this thing there. As anyway, yeah. I mean, I want to keep 50, as the editor of fifty thirty three bs. I would like to keep it pretty focused on evaluation criteria. Um, but I, I, certainly the hope in chartering CCWG was that there would be more work. I was a little worried there wouldn't be, but it looks like there is. Um, so that's good. Uh, Jonathan. Yeah, I'm just relaying a, a short discussion that was in the chat. So David Black was me uh, mentioning stuff about allowing dispatch to sense drafts to wit would make sense. And Francesco basically pointed out that Ask Dispatch already sends work to other areas, so sending it 
to which groups is not actually a change. Yeah, and the other thing I would echo from the chat, which is what I put in there, was that uh, as Francesca alluded to, the ISG is actually considering a pretty sweeping dispatch reform. Uh, we'll see if the dust settles on that. Uh, if the dust settles so that there's like no way to dispatch stuff that wit, then I'm sure the wit ODs will invent something. Um, or maybe this, this discussion will solve the problem. Last call to join the queue, or we can go have cookies. Okay, enjoy the uh, cookies. Oh, okay. oh. Just in time, go ahead. I just, yeah, I'm sorry. This is my only second IPF. My name is Alpha, I'm from Cisco Meraki. Um, I was actually very, very interested in Alto and I've been reading its drafts and trying to work with that, the cost maps. Uh, and I'm wondering what do I do with the idea that I have now? Do I take it to dispatch next time? Um, I would encourage you to start by contacting an AD. Um, those are probably the best place to route things because sometimes the IOSG will just decide that it clearly belongs in a certain place. Um, uh -huh. If your idea is also specific, uh, you can come to me or yeah, okay. I pro I'm probably the best option. Uh, that said, like the, the Alto work, the Alto um, mailing list will remain open because there is still a community working on things there. So that might be an interesting place to at least connect with people. And um, I know that some of the Alto proponents really want to come back and do a BOF or something for some additional work, which would probably be in the ops area. So uh, you can talk, so I mean, you have a few options and maybe all of the above, but you could talk to an AD, you could get on the Alto mailing list and you could talk and you could through there identify the Alto proponents still trying to make something further happen in ITF. I just, my judgment was that nothing was really particularly ready to go do standardization work at this time. But um, I'm so, I think the door is certainly open towards that changing as it, as it matures. Okay, okay, got it, thanks. Okay, once again, anyone like to block us from cookies for a few more minutes? One more time, like that. going once, <laughs> going twice. Have a good IETF and we will see you in Brisbane. See you in Brisbane. Congratulations, you made it to the end of the transport area. I just have to point out the lies of the ISG. The cookies will only come out during the break. Oh, uh, Martin. It's not too late for a recall, David. So, so David, there is somebody called Mahesh who is saying, like, replacing Martin sometime in the te uh, teleprompt. So maybe that guy said that. Yeah. <laughs>